This is Earth, and this is South Africa, located 7,700 miles from my home. This land had always felt like a distant dream, a dream my family and I had attempted to realize many times before, but never truly fulfill. A dream I'd almost given up all hope on as I entered adulthood. But, as I sat in the back of a cramped car and drove along the coastline of another continent, I realized dreams really could come true. So, we finished up the day. How do you think it's gone for you? What was your favorite memory of the day so far? Getting caught in a stampede. Elaborate. Well, you see here, we were on the prison island today, and the time came for the boat to take us off, except the boat was broken. They got a backup boat. We were close to the front of the line with people, but then other people rushed towards the front in order to get on the boat. Are you talking about the massacre of 96? It's 23, but... I remember it fondly. Whoa, no. <laughs> October 28, 2023, South Africa won the Rugby World Cup, and to many in that country, there was really only one way to celebrate. So okay. good. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Sorry. Cheers. 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 I, I still think that Amarillo should not be should not be compromised. <laughs> Look, normally I would agree with you. I am. But it's celebrating. <laughs> oh. you, you are celebrating. The green and gold. Well, there was another way to celebrate. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the privilege today of interviewing uh, one of the great uh, minds of our time, Andrew Brown. Please come join me. Now, Andrew is known for his um, meditative book, uh, the quality of pressure sleep. So um, today we have the privilege of seeing him in action. Now, Andrew, how did you get into this whole practice of pressure sleeping? That's fascinating.
This is the end. The end of a road, the end of our trip, the end of a continent. But not the end of the story. A story that began 15 years ago, through disappointments and into adulthood, continued through a 15-hour flight, was thrown into chaos with the discovery of Pro Neutro and Oros. All to leave me standing on the edge of a continent, looking south. And as I looked out over what appeared to be infinite waters, I realized that though this dream could now be laid to rest, there are a thousand more just waiting to be fulfilled. Hey everyone, I want to take a moment to say thank you for sticking through this video and watching till the end. It was a real passion project for me, and I was extremely nervous uh, about how to present that passion to you, the viewer, in a way that would be entertaining, but also share some of the internal longings that I had. I also want to say thank you to the Brown family for taking the time to share their magnificent homeland with me and my family. Can you not unlock her because you're a child? No, no, I don't know. They were always part of this dream and this trip, and I could not have imagined this happening without them being present. This trip was a dream come true, and I hope that in some small way, my efforts in documenting those five days that I spent in Cape Town share some of that joy with you. Now, I'm going to let this song by Lord Huron play out, but I'll say one last time, thank you. Time truly is a blur, and now it is on to the next thing, whatever that is.